Hi guys, Matt from 123MyOT here. In this video, I will show you how to refurbish and upgrade the MacBook Pro, and then after I'm finished, I will give it away. So sit back, relax, watch the video, and I will let you know how you can win this upgraded MacBook Pro. Apple stopped releasing computers that you could upgrade in 2016, but the 2015 models and older are still upgradable. This MacBook Pro 13 inch does have a few small dings on the bottom, but you can upgrade the parts and bring it back to life. When selecting a MacBook Pro, things to look out for are, does it have any scratches on the body? This one's got a bit of sticky tape on top, which will come off with a clean. Is the hinge okay? Some of them will have worn hinges and the lid becomes floppy and annoying. Is the screen broken? Also check the keyboard and the trackpad and make sure they're okay. Does the power cable work and charge the laptop? If you see the power cable go amber, this is a good sign. It means that the battery is being charged. Most importantly, does the MacBook power on okay? You can get these laptops off Amazon or eBay. I will put a link in the description below of MacBook Pros and all the parts and tools I use in this video. Awesome, you've made it this far. This MacBook is running Mac OS Yosemite, which is pretty old now. Don't worry, we will upgrade that. The next thing to check is your audio. Test the audio buttons and test the audio jack and speakers. What you are doing is denying blanket access for all the Samsung apps, which is a good step for privacy. What a great video. Next up, check that your display buttons work okay. Go ahead and pull your power cable out and make sure the battery holds charge. There's nothing worse than a laptop that turns off when you unplug it. All right, sweet, you checked everything is working. Shut down the laptop and let's do a refurbish. When you see a laptop that says it's been refurbished, it generally means it's been cleaned up and tested in working condition. Laptops are easy to clean, anyone can do it, and it instantly improves the value of the item. This applies for all items. Think about it, cleaning cars and real estate for sale. To refurbish a laptop, you don't need anything special. Just a clean, damp cloth is all you need for most marks. This MacBook Pro was pretty dirty on the inside. Again, you can just use a damp cloth on the screen. Don't push too hard and just get all the fingerprints off and the dirt from the keyboard and trackpad if there is any. Cool. Now that it's all clean, I want to run a test on the hardware. I'm going to install Mac OS High Sierra on the old hardware and run a test on how fast the MacBook Pro starts up. And then after that, I will upgrade the MacBook Pro hard drive and RAM and I'll run the test again on the new hardware to see if there is any improvement with the new hardware. I will run Disk Utility and erase the hard drive and install Mac OS High Sierra. I'm using High Sierra because it's the only installer disk I have. Don't worry, I will upgrade to Catalina later in the video, so keep watching. Alright, I've used Disk Utility to erase the drive and I will install Mac OS next. If you get that Mac OS damaged error, you can fix this by turning the clock back on the computer. I've already done a video on this and I'll put a link in the description. To set the time back, I will need to boot into my trusty blue USB hard drive. I can't boot into the hard drive inside the MacBook Pro because I just erased it with Mac OS in disk utility. Hindsight is a beautiful thing. This blue hard drive has a working copy of Mac OS El Capitan and I use it to create and deploy Mac OS images. Okay, so I will set the clock back to 2018, so Mac OS High Sierra installs properly. Okay, so I've restarted now, and let's see if the Mac OS High Sierra will install.
Cool, it's working now. I will go ahead and install it. On the old hardware, it takes a while to install, so I will speed this up. Once it's done a few reboots and things, you can actually unplug the USB drive. That took a really long time. Okay, I will set it up real quick, and then I will test the old hardware. Okay, first of all, you want to check what memory slots the MacBook Pro has. This will help us uh, work out what memory we can upgrade the Mac to. To do this, go into Apple, about this Mac, and then memory. Okay, you can see here that it has two slots with two gigabyte sticks on both sides, making it a total of four gigabyte. We will remove those and add two four gigabyte memory sticks, bringing up to a total of eight gigabyte. Okay, let's see how long it takes to start up with the old hardware, and then I'll run the same test after we upgrade to the new hardware. All right, so that took two minutes 17 to boot up, quite long. So the hardware I'm going to upgrade to is two sticks of four gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabyte SATA SSD. Now you can go smaller and bigger if you want to, but I wouldn't go below 120 gigabyte SSD. And actually the price for the 128 gigabyte was only $2 more, so for that extra eight gigabyte, I think it's worth it. You will lose some data on the drive from the install, and then you will also lose a bit more from the Mac OS taking up about 20 gig, so that should leave us with about 100 gig free, which I think is good enough. To take the bottom off, you will need to undo the 10 screws, and then there is little tabs to remove the RAM modules. Just push the tabs aside and the RAM should pop up and then you can just pull them out. Then go ahead and pop the new RAM back in. This will upgrade the MacBook Pro to eight gigabytes. Next, you will need to upgrade the old hard drive with the new SSD. To do that, remove the four screws and unplug the old hard drive. Take the new SSD out of the box and remove the old screws from the old hard drive and add the screws to the new SSD. The old hard drive screws are tricky to get out and require some special screwdrivers to take them out. I will put a link in the description for the screwdriver set that I have. If you have long nose pliers, they can also work. Go ahead and put the old screws into the new SSD. Once that's done, plug the new SSD into the SATA cable and then screw the SSD back into place. Congratulations, you have just upgraded your MacBook Pro. Apple will be furious. Booting back into my blue external hard drive to do the time trick, I realized that the SSD won't be picked up until it is initialized by the disk utility. So if you see this pop up, go ahead and erase and name the SSD. I just call it the official name, Macintosh HD.
Once that's done, I'll go and do the time trick and then we'll shut it down and boot back into the Mac OS High Sierra USB. Cool. Now we are going to install Mac OS on the new hardware and we will do the boot test after that to see if the new hardware makes the MacBook Pro any faster. Okay, Mac OS is installed now. Let's check the memory and it should say a total of eight gigabyte now. Sweet, looking good. And there it is. Let's do the boot test. Remember that the startup time on the old MacBook hardware was two minutes 17. Bam, there it is, 17 seconds. It's like a new laptop. I was actually even surprised at how fast it was. You can see why Apple stopped allowing upgrades. It's to make sure that people have to upgrade whole laptops, and this simple change would have made them billions of dollars. Okay, so we've upgraded the hardware. Let's upgrade to Mac OS Catalina, so it's a supported version of Mac OS. Awesome, Catalina is installed now. The last step is to make it look cool and apply the Monterey wallpaper. How cool is that? Okay, so the part of the video everyone is looking for. This is how you can win the MacBook Pro. Here's how. You need to watch the video and subscribe to my channel. You need to leave a thumbs up on the video and hit the little bell icon and then share it with one other person. You need to leave one comment in the comment section, just one, not two. And you must also be over 18. So if you're, if you're under 18, maybe get mum to apply for you. The winner will be drawn at random and I will announce the winner in the next video one week from now. Guys, good luck and thanks for watching.